वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव मिस्टर डेप्यूटी स्पीकर सर आई थिंक द हाउस विल एग्री विद मी दैट द हेल्थ मिनिस्टर वाइल पायलटिंग दिस बिल to us made a very brilliant and studied presentation and explanation on the various provisions of this bill and i wish to join other honorable members in congratulating warmly the health minister for the initiative and imagination with which he has been dealing with this terrible problem this is a good measure in the right direction because of the fact that several of the honorable members who have spoken before me have touched on the various aspects of the law i would rather view this piece of legislation more from human and philosophical angles than from a purely legalistic angle a piece of legislation such as this which is a social economic legislation obviously is to be preceded by public opinion and backed up to by public opinion i understand that it is only the pressure of the public opinion which has compelled government to proceed in the right direction and they have rightly gone but it is the continuous pressure of public opinion which will make the government find out what are the effective ways and provisions in the legislation and what are the effective things which can be later on removed by further amendments i hope the government will have a constant eye on how the public opinion reacts to the various legal and penal provisions contained in this measure the post war period particularly since 1945 has been a period of tremendous advances in science and technology but the trouble is that the science and technology have advanced that advance is unaccompanied by an equally good advance in spirituality and truth when science and technology unaccompanied by spirituality and truth go ahead they create havoc sometimes and one of the havocs created is what we see today this adulteration in the spheres of food articles drinks etc this unsocial attitude and profiteering mentality about which the minister made a very right reference in the beginning of a very small minority has a tremendous impact on a big majority i should say the entire nation these unsocial and anti social attitudes and activities have to go but they cannot be vanished merely by legislation they will ultimately go by the pressures of a very strong and continuously vigilant public opinion and enlighten public opinion all over the world as i said 
I was going to view this piece of legislation from a philosophical angle. I feel that today ours is not only an atomic age, this is also an age of indifference coupled with that we now see that it is the age of adulteration, pollution, an age of abject pollution. We find that citizens, even when their interests are concerned, are not interested in trying to eradicate those diseases or those danger or defects. Ultimately, the state cannot do beyond a certain point. It is the citizen's rightful vigilance and active involvement which can really do a lot in terms of eradicating some of these social evils. Do we find adulteration only in food articles or only in drinks? I dare say adulteration and pollution are found these days in each and every field. Take the political field, the economic field, the social field, the educational field cultural, literary and even religious fields. In fact, no field of human activity is today left out where there is not some kind of adulteration practiced. The trouble, therefore, is that when we setting in judgment over those food adulterators, we are forgetting that in every walk of life where we have certain things to project or inject into human activity, we are also responsible for a number of such crimes of adulteration. Therefore, I feel that when we look at this problem, we should not forget to look at this problem in its totality also. When it comes to food and drinks alteration, I want to say that it is not only injurious to health, but it means slow and systematic and daily death. Death may come at the end, but before it comes finally, the man is failing in health, failing in the energy and failing in exhibition because of the adulteration. Therefore, I feel that if you want to tackle this problem, then the government must also, through this legislation, do two things. The minister has already made a mention of it. First is the implementation. Implementation must be quick and speedy and we must guard against possible increase in corruption also because after all when the state's machinery or any machinery for that matter has to implement we must not empower that machinery with such powers that the honest and the innocent are harassed. I know the minister himself said in the beginning that undue punishment and harassment will not be done to honest traders in this regard. Therefore, I want that the implementation should be quick and at the same time proper safeguards should be there to see that corruption does not creep in a greater amount. Thank you.